Hey guys, just a quick video. It has nothing to do with my other videos. Um, I just I waited so long for this uh, Gundam kit that uh, I just wanted to film it and show you guys. Uh, I waited four months for this. I was at the uh, warehouse, the supply house, that I get some of my kits from, and um, I wanted this kit, but they were all pre-sold or something, and I, and I told them I want another one, and I put my name in and forgot about it. I think that was in June or July, so four months have gone by, and this shows up on the steps today. Um, it says Mecca because... Uh, the name I use for uh, wholesale purchasing is Mecca Empire. Uh, I got a license, so maybe someday I'll uh, open a retail store or an online retail store or something like that. But anyway, it's that's why it says Mecca. It's Mecca Empire, which is a cool name, I thought. But uh, check out this kit. I, I, I've, I'm into this stuff, and I might have seen this once in my travels and never saw it again. So it's one of those obscure kits. Sorry, I'm getting in the way. But check this out. By the way, this is a high-grade kit. Ugh. All right, let's get this box out of here. There we go. My shoe in the way. That is the Meteor unit with the Freedom Gundam. Now, the Freedom Gundam, it's a high-grade, it's an actual high-grade kit, and uh, it is awesome. Now, I don't know how great the kit is. You know, I imagine it's good. It's Bandai. But uh, try and get this so you guys can see it. Look at that. It's kind of like a few of the other kits they have with the little Gundam in it. That, what is that one? Denondrum or something like that? It's kind of like that. But this one's way nicer, I think. Um, there's the Freedom. So it's a good size. It's, it's about a third of the price. And uh, Bandai don't make many ships at all. I, I don't know why. There's so many cool ships in the series. And um, they just don't make the ships. I, I, I just don't know why. But uh, I, was, I was quite taken by this, and I had to have it. I'm glad they remembered, because I forgot all about the damn thing. And you don't see it anywhere. It's not listed anywhere. You just don't see it. There's the freedom that it comes with, a full high grade. And there it is, docking. And look at this. It fits the Justice also. You know? And uh, I've seen Seed, so i got to go back and watch it again to see uh, where this is in there, unless it's in the manga and not in the... Here it is here. So I gotta go back and watch it again. I watched it over the summer, but um, to get you guys an idea of the size of this thing, check this out. All right. Now it looks small. It looks small in the picture, but check this. This is the new Wyndham Gundam that just came out. All right. That's a that's a high grade kit. So that'll tell you how big this actually is, you know, and some of the parts in this kit, I'm trying to do this and hold the camera at the same time, look at the size of these parts, look at that, I mean, that's, you know, there's my hand, that was a full-size hand, look at this, look at that, I mean, that's huge, this is going to be a great on the shelf, I'll tell you right now, look at these pieces, it's the size of a perfect grade, some of these pieces. You know? I'm sure, somewhere in here is the kit. Look at the purple. I mean, obviously, I'll we'll be airbrushing it. But uh, this one's going to be a blast. I, I waited so long for this kit that I actually hope... Let's put the lid on. It's as good as I'm excited for it. <laughs> so it won't be a letdown. But, oop, don't want to hit the camera. Sorry, guys. Like I said, this isn't one of my airbrushing videos. And uh, that's all. It was just a quick, fun video. I, I really love this kit. I think you guys should grab it. I, it was like 55, 50 bucks wholesale. I think it sells for 80, 85 dollars. Good luck finding one. It's probably a hundred if you find it, you know, marked up. And um, I'll show you. I'll take my camera. Let me show you a little bit of quick, quick tour here before I take off. Um, I'm still working on the wall. I, I, I got to put a lot of these paints up that I've just gotten in. Uh, these are uh, the splash paints. Here's the metal. Oh, let me zoom in a little bit. Hold on. These are the metalizers that we're going to be testing. This is their mecha color. These are their sparkles. And that's a ch color change. These are the testers that I just did the test on. Uh, I'm going to be testing these enamel humbrels. One of them is a chrome silver, and I'll be doing a silver test pretty soon. These are my next, one of my next tests also is this. These ammo by MIG. Uh, these are all the, this is his metal lineup, all his metal colors. Uh, let's see, there we go. 
And that's all. Um, there's, where's my rack? There's all the spray cans that I just did a video on. The Vallejo ones, anyway. And then you could see my artwork that I had custom printed. A friend printed them up for me. I'll zoom the room here for you. There's my Tamiya paints. Tamiya. I just got that rack in. That's a hobby zone rack. These are how I do my spoons. You know, I test all the spoons from you guys. And um, I, I got all these bins at the dollar store and that label package on Amazon. These are uh, these are uh, Avery labels. And you stick them in the print. I put the logo and inside, like here's all my all clads. These are all the all clads that we, you know, you just watch me test. So, and then I put them all in here and they correspond. Here's all my mission model stuff. My goal is to paint a spoon of everything that I own, and when I want to see what it looks like, I'm just going to grab it. This is all fluorescence. So when I know I want to use the fluorescent, I'm going to come in here for a reference, you know, and just see which one that I really like. I get everything, everything's labeled. So, you know, here's all my metal colors from AK that we just did. You know, these are life colors. These just came in, and I'm going to test these. These new acrylic, well, not new, new to me, acrylics. And this is some uh, Gamer Workshop colors. There's the little color I just the color I just tested. This is almost a, a whole lineup of this are those auto colors. High, they're all high gloss for my car kits. You know, and uh, I don't want to move the camera too fast, but here's some of my cars here. I got a Celica collection going there. There's my Gundam sign. Hold on, let's pull it back. There we go. Here's my uh, Yamato cutaway I had uh, made. I got several of these. I might put some for sale. That's from the old uh, Star Blazers fan club. Uh, I just got this in. Oh, here's the spray booth. You can see where it is, according to what I was just filming. And uh, whenever you see me, some of my kits. I got a lot of building to do here, guys. A lot of building. After testing the paints, we're going to go on to some builds. There's a 160th uh, Exia, and it's not a perfect grade. It was like 40 or 50 bucks, and you got a 160th scale without spending the money on a perfect grade. I got two perfect grades over here. My Secret Santa gave me that uh, Seven Sword. There's the riser. And over here is the strike. And uh, I just got in this uh, Kotobukiya Zoid. I've always wanted to build one. And the Grim Gird, I waited forever. It's finally back in stock. And, uh, and here's the booth that you always guys see me spraying in. Here's when I keep my spoons ready to go. Check this out. We're going to go dark blue instead of black. Let's see if that works with the chrome. Oh, this just came in. Let me show you this. Look at this hanger diorama. All right. You can build it in all different ways, and you can attach them. And that's great. And it looks like it's just plain pieces until you open it up. And look at the parts in this thing. I mean, there's tons of all these intricate little parts. You know, stripes for the flaw. See it? So I'm going to do a lot of metalizers. And that's why I've been testing them because I'm going to do a lot of metal colors on this thing. I thought this was great. Wasn't that much money either, if I recall. And here's my wall of kits here. Zoom out again if I can. There's Tiger and Bunny in there. Here's my two favorite ships from Star Blazers. More cars. I just got in that RX-7. And some of this other stuff just came in from Japan. My friend's buddy is uh, stationed in Japan and. Uh, sent me a bunch of kits which was great I don't know why this ended up in a car tour here or a model tour but it did all right and there's the paints these are all acrylics AK MIG uh, Vallejo uh, Mecha colors um, it's my G self great kit uh, here's all the all clads we just tested look at that I just put them on the wall these these racks I got on Amazon. I got more coming because I got to go across because we got to get these on the wall. Look at them all. In the, there's no spot for these. There's no spot for the splash paints. This came. These SMS kit came in uh, this package, so I might end up keeping them 
in this package. We've got to test these yet anyway. Particular these metalizers. They make metalizers. Look at this. Aluminum. I mean, that's right up my alley. So we'll be testing those. Here's uh, a mix of uh, testers, acrylics, and enamels. I'm going to test both in two separate tests, but soon because these are these are out of print now, whatever you call them. They're, they're discontinued. So you're going to have to, if you like them, I have to test them so we can see if we like them and we're going to go out and grab them. Here's all my primers from All Clad. And these just came in. These new primers from Steiner Res, which I love. Um, look at this. Bronze colored primer. And this one is, that's the bronze. This is copper. And this is bronze. Look at that. I like primers. I got some of the other primers up here, all the colors. I did a test on them too. Now here's the 8Ks I did the test. This whole row all the way across is aqueous. And here's all of my Mr. Color, which I love. Here's my Gaia paints, which I'm rearranging now to make room for these uh, these new Evangelion paints a friend sent. So check that out. And then here's the acrylic humbles. Here's the model mission paints. And uh, I got these Moto paints from Korea. These are clears. And uh, these... MRPs. I got a bunch of these coming in to fill out the collection. A bunch of metalizers, so we got more of those coming. And uh, this is an acrylic lacquer, just like uh, Tamiya. But I had good luck. I, particularly this Subaru Blue. And by Subaru Blue, without well, getting you guys dizzy, they mean the Impreza. And it looks just like it because I painted this kit here to look like a Subaru Impreza, the racing one with the color blue and yellow. So we actually used Subaru Blue. And uh, I guess that's it. That's the world tour of the room, which wasn't meant to be. It was just supposed to be for this Meteor unit with the Freedom, which is awesome. Um, these are some of the car kits my buddy sent me from Japan. And uh, look at that Acura is in there. And uh, I got the Space Battleship Arcadia from my youth in Arcadia, Captain Harlock. So we got some goodies to go. I got the moon I got to build. And um, that's it. And we're going to test this uh, this airbrush soon, this Infinity Plus. I heard it's fantastic, highly recommended. So that's coming soon. I ordered the, it came with a 4 millimeter needle. So we got to put that in uh, with the nozzle. And that's what we're going to be doing over the weekend. We'll be testing that out. And uh, that's it. That is a tour that wasn't meant to be. It was. I was just going to show you this kit, which I was excited to get. But... Uh, Anyway, at least you get to see the room and it's all its glory and my artwork, which uh, I tend to not show when I'm shooting a video. And uh, that's it. All right, guys. We will see you soon. Before the end of the week, we'll have another test video on uh, some more airbrush colors. And we will see you then.